In the name of the risen Christ, who brings life among the dead, healing to the broken, and forgiveness to the guilty, all are invited to come to the banquet table to bear witness to the hope and promise of the kingdom of God. And so come, come with your doubts and your hopes, come with your inadequacies and your strengths, come for at this table you're invited to experience Christ in the bread and the cup. Christ invites you to meet him here. I come with joy, a child of God, forgiven, loved, and free. A life of Jesus to recall in love laid down for me. In love laid down for me. I come with Christians far and near to find as all are fed. The new community of love in Christ communion bread. In Christ communion bread. As Christ breaks bread and bids us share, each proud division ends. The love that made us makes us one, and strangers now are friends, and strangers now are friends. The Spirit of the risen Christ, unseen but ever near, is in such friendship better known, alive among us here, alive among us here. Together met, together bound by all that God has done, we'll go with joy to give the world the love that makes us one, the love that makes us one. God be with you, and also with you. Lift up our hearts, we lift them up to God. Let us give thanks to God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. We give thanks for your life on this earth, walking by our side. How you announced a new heaven and a new earth found at the margins of this world. An offense against the strongholds of oppression, the dawn of liberation. We give thanks. With signs of healing and deliverance, you proclaim news of another commonwealth. You choose a life of nonviolent confrontation with the powers of the age. You restored wholeness to the sick and those called impure. You tore down the boundaries of clan and gender and sexuality of black and brown and white, all the walls we built to exclude those whose differences make us feel uncomfortable. You overturned the dynamics of status and honor, insider and outsider. With you, there is no longer male or female, slave or free, Jew or Gentile, patriarchy, slavery, and racism have no place in your new world. All are made in the divine image. Everyone included in the revolution, where the last are first. The powers that oppressed you, we still do. You chose love over fear. You were put to death, lynched and hung on a, on a tree. In the great reversal of all history, on the cross, you overcame the powers of this world and broke the power of death. You sang a song of a new heaven and a new earth. And with angels and saints and all who walk your way, still we join with you in that song.
When we forget this song, remind us. When we lose sight of your way, guide us. When we despair and are overwhelmed, send your Holy Spirit to comfort us. You call us to a conversion of heart, to turn away from the seduction of empire, to turn towards a new heaven and a new earth, a community of resistance and healing, gathering at a table where you promise to meet us. May our homes be open, our tables welcome, our tables today be a place such as this, a place like this. May we live from love and not fear. Gracious God, be present with us now in every place and time. Bless the bread and the cup with the presence of Jesus. Send your Holy Spirit among us and unite us as one. Great is the mystery of faith. On the night before he died, Jesus gathered his closest friends. And after he had a meal with them, he took the bread and gave thanks and broke it, saying, Take, eat, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And in the same way, he took the cup. And he said, this cup is the new covenant poured out for you in my blood. When you drink it, remember me. And so now you're invited to share the bread and the cup that you have at home. The gifts of God for the people of God come for all is ready. <laughs> 